A restaurant that calls itself a rarity with food in the top 100 of the world just wound up on a very different list and it almost got them shut down. That's right. It's a place 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears knows well, but not when she's on Dirty Dining. When I learned who was going to be on this week's Dirty Dining, my heart sank because it's one of my favorite places, a restaurant I've eaten at many times with both family and friends, and the food has always been fabulous. It just goes to show you the devil is truly in the details when it comes to the health code. It's a matter of how you react and rebound. Nataya's Secret Kitchen on Rampart and Lake Mead has a dirty little secret this week. A 40 demerit C grade on November 20th left them one point short of being shut down for excessive demerits. It's something no one wants to talk about. I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. I need to speak to the person in charge because unfortunately you guys are on dirty dining this week for the 40 demerit C grade that you got from the health district. We want to be sure to get your side of the story. She leaves to go call the owner, then tells us to come back later. They, she said she'll be back here later around like 4.30. But when we return, no owner and no answers other than a manager who wouldn't go on camera, saying the violations were all quickly fixed and calling them circumstantial. The circumstance being that Natayas is in the process of moving to a new location. But that doesn't excuse the issues health inspectors observed, like an employee handling a trash can, then raw shrimp without hand washing or changing gloves. Chicken was not cooked to a safe temperature, curry wasn't cooled properly, and there was a repeat violation for storing food uncovered in the freezer. An open container of raw shrimp was thawing in standing water in the three-compartment sink next to dirty dishes. In-use utensils were stored in standing water, and the main food handler was eating at the cook line during active food handling. There was heavy grease buildup on hood filters and dirty ceiling tiles. Condiment containers sat on a dirty cutting board and a dry erase marker sat on a food container next to cut bell peppers. The manager at Natayas took my business card and said he'd ask the owner to call me, but she never did. The health district confirms that Natayas has not yet been reinspected, so it still has a C grade. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.